Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing two new products uh, from Maybelline India. It's from their new V Face range. Uh, the first product is the Maybelline V Face Duo Stick and the second one is the Maybelline V Face Duo Powder. If the name V Face didn't already tip you off, this range is sort of centered around uh, contouring and highlighting your face and just sculpting it, giving it a very defined and slim look. Contours are supposed to create like fake shadows on your face and it's just a very much slimming effect. Highlighting usually goes hand in hand with that so it's a lighter product that's often shimmery and you apply that on the higher points of your face like the entire bridge of your nose, uh, the top of your cheekbones, uh, cupid's bow etc. These are places that would normally catch the light so it just enhances that and it makes your face look all sculpted and glowy when you contour and highlight. So I have been a big fan of basic contouring and highlighting for at least a couple of years now. Even though I'm a lazy girl, I don't do a heavy base. I don't even use foundation, but I do like a quick contour and highlight. Pretty often it just gives me that little more defined look and it doesn't take time. I also do favor cream contour products, especially in stick form. They're really, really handy. So I was so very excited when I heard of the Maybelline We Face Duo Stick because you get both the contour and highlight in the same product. It's just so handy. It's also a pretty affordable product. I thought it would be a really nice addition to my kit and it would make my life a lot easier. So both of these products are available in two different shades. There's light medium and medium dark. Obviously, I fall under the medium dark spectrum. By the sound of it, I thought that like those would pretty much encompass all skin tones. It seemed like that at least. In this video now, I am going to show you swatches on my hand, demos and just then give you my final two cents of the product. So let's just get into it. This is what the duo stick looks like. And as I mentioned, you get the contour on one side here and you get a highlight on the other side. It kind of like functions exactly like a dual sided lipstick. Most other cream contour sticks that I've tried are a little bit slimmer so that you have more control. This is a little on the fatter side, uh, but I figured since it has that tapered tip, you can still kind of manipulate it to make thinner lines if you do want that. So again, I'm repeating, the shade that I have in this is the medium dark shade, but on the packaging it was just labeled as dark. So I figured it should work well for me, right? Let us start with the contouring side. I'm going to show you how this looks. As you can see here, the moment I swatched this, it was a giant, giant disappointment for me because this shade is ridiculous. This is basically just my skin tone. Contours are supposed to be significantly darker than your skin tone so that, uh, you know, you are creating shadows. But this, I'm going to put it on my face now and it's not going to make any difference at all. I will show you guys. You can't see it at all. You can kind of see that I put like some kind of creamy product on my face. But you absolutely cannot see a contour at all. This is not even a subtle contour. This is a nothing contour. This, this is not a contour. I was very, very, very disappointed uh, by the shade because I don't know how such a big brand like Maybelline could mess up at this level because it's just wrong. They say medium dark. I'm medium skin toned and this matches me. It kind of looks like concealer or something. It does not look like a contour in the least bit. Now to show you a comparison of what a good contour for my skin tone would look like, I'm going to show you my Colourpop Sculpting Sticks. Uh, these are their cream contour. Colourpop is an American, very, very affordable brand. The only con about it is it's not available easily in India, but it's affordable. So I think it makes a fair comparison with Maybelline like that. This is in the shade Yikes. I think they changed the name of the shade, but let me just show this to you. I think the swatches itself can do the talking and you can see the extreme difference between the two. This is a real contour for my skin tone. And if I put it in my cheek here, like right now, you can see that it is visible, which needs to be there. And then I can blend it with my finger. It blends out pretty nicely. And this side is contoured. 
this side I don't even know what to say about this side let's just leave that and move on to the highlighting side um, the highlight I actually like it's not that bad it's a nice creamy highlight uh, sort of champagne toned and it's got a lot of micro shimmer in it no chunky glitter but lots of shimmer and I think it, it works pretty nicely I'm gonna put it on my face right now so I did like three strokes just because I wanted to show you guys like exactly how it looks it's really really like soft it's a nice texture I don't know if it's too soft it blends very well I think uh, you can very easily see the result of the highlight I like the highlight again uh, it's a nice highlight would work on lots of skin tones you can even do uh, like your brow bone you can do the bridge of your nose I don't have any problems with this highlighting side I think it works wonderfully and uh, yeah just nothing much more to say but I do have a very huge huge problem with the contouring side the shade is all wrong now I'm gonna move on to the second product which is the Maybelline We Face Duo Powder it comes in this little compact if this compact looks familiar to you it's the exact same compact shape and form as the L'Oreal Matte Magic Powder I think that powder came out last year uh, I really liked using it and so I recognized the shape of it at once so on top you have the powder here and when you lift it up uh, there's a nice pretty big and clear mirror and you also get a brush instead of a sponge you get a brush which is useful right because this is supposed to be like a contouring kit you have two powders in here there's a lighter highlighting powder and there's a darker contouring powder I thought the light powder was matte it looks pretty much matte but if you look at it really closely you can see the littlest hints of uh, shimmer I, like silvery shimmer I think they are very tiny and uh, they're like sparsely there it's not a shimmery powder I would say it's a matte with tiny tiny bits of shimmer I think that works really nicely uh, because a highlight should have some shimmer in it but if you're scared of very shimmery glittery highlights this one is subtle so I'm going to take some this is not going to be so visible to you guys but again I like this powder the highlights not bad and I think an especially good use for it would be to set the concealer in your under eye region and just brighten up your under eye region because most of us have some darkness there I, I don't know how visible it's going to be on camera it's decent it's a nice powder the highlight is not bad now let's take a second to talk about the contour because this time I thought let me talk about the thing I liked first so this is what the contour is supposed to be and again you have to use it at the same places that I just said uh, let me just watch it for you guys right now I'm taking a lot of powder on my fingers okay the texture of it is pretty nice so just took a lot of it on this finger and apply it here again another product uh, this is medium dark and the contour powder is barely visible on my hand it's just barely visible and in the spirit of showing you guys comparisons I'm going to show you my sleek makeup uh, face form palette this is a UK drugstore brand so again something that is sadly not easily available in India but very affordable this is in the shade medium okay not even medium dark there's a darker shade available but this is medium and this is what a powder contour for my skin tone should look like you get three powders inside but I'm just going to concentrate on the contouring powder now take some of it on my finger and swatch it beside the Maybelline one I can hardly see the Maybelline one so I think the difference is pretty plain to see this is what the contour should look like and this is what it looks like again the powder is not at all visible on my face they do say you can swirl both the powders together and then use it um, all over your face but I don't think that works well I don't think it looks good at all because as a contour the darker shade does kind of have a grey undertone to it a cool undertone because it's supposed to look like a shadow remember but if you're putting a powder all over your face it should have a slightly warmer undertone because Indians have warmer skin tones just in the spirit of trying it I did mix it all up 
and try it on my face one day. I didn't film that day, but it looked pretty dreadful. It didn't really give me any coverage, and uh, it just gave me a very ashy, dull grey look. It didn't do anything for me, and it looked much better before I put the powder on. That was basically my review for both of these Maybelline products. I very rarely have given such negative reviews to any products and I like Maybelline. I like them very much. I like the eyeliner. I use the eyeliner every day. I'm wearing it right now. But I don't know how they could get these so wrong because I don't know if these genuinely work for anybody. These I don't think they would work for anybody. The highlight, fine, it's okay. But the contour is just so light that it just doesn't do anything. It doesn't make any sense and I don't know what they were thinking when they made it. It's just like the colors are completely wrong and as an Indian with a brown skin tone who's proud of her brown skin tone and does not use whitening products or lightening products, um, it can be very difficult to just shop for any base products that match my skin. Most drugstore brands just don't have any base products for me. I've gone to foundation launches by other brands and they just like they stop at a medium skin tone much lighter than mine I just cannot get a matching foundation even if I wanted it and I'm forced to go to brands like Makeup Forever, Estee Lauder or MAC if I want a matching foundation uh, which is sad I mean those are good brands they're really expensive but I don't know why uh, medium to dark skin tones just get so badly excluded by most brands in India despite the fact that we have such a diverse variety of skin tones we have people in India from like the fairest of fair to the darkest of dark to everything in between we are realizing that we don't all have to look fair to be beautiful but then you go to buy makeup that suits your skin color and you find that these brands just don't cater from medium to dark skin tones I don't really understand why that happens. Using these products were incredibly disappointing and the highlight sort of works so it's not going to be a total waste but otherwise I definitely cannot recommend these products to anyone. I would love to hear your views on them though. Have any of you guys tried them and what were your experiences? Was it like the same as mine or did you think it was good? I don't know. I would just I, let's have a discussion about this. <laughs> I just really want to know what you guys think and uh, share your thoughts, inputs or whatever, your very own review of the product in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos on beauty, fashion, travel and some randomness. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!